back here on Jiggy Jag TV, also JiggyJagTV.com and RossVideos.info. I'm Jigman Freud, the master debater, the Kenning linguist, the admiral of alliteration. And uh, I'll tell you, it's going down like a hot goat under a rainfall here at the Grind, Speed and Sound here in uh, the great city of Salina, Kansas. And uh, we got some little footage of this guy just doing what he does best earlier, so I'm going to get the hell out of the way, let him introduce himself, and uh, we'll get to know a little bit more about him, so jump in there, buddy. What's up? How y'all doing? Uh, Bloody Hands, uh, Wichita, Kansas, representing Flatlands still, just trying to do my thing, man, that's it. So, uh, you, you doing the Cypher show today? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, who walked in behind me? <laughs> Well, uh, uh, hey, brother, give us a little bit on your background. I've been I've been hearing all sorts of things about you. Very positive coming into this. They were calling you a legend earlier. I just <laughs> jump in there, bro. Um, I mean, you know, people say that they will. I mean, it's I'm flattered, you know. But, yeah. Uh, it's just rhymes, man. It's just words. Anybody can do it. I mean, yeah. in practice. I mean, I've been doing it so long that it's just second nature now. You know, yeah. but I mean, you know, I came up when. Hip hop was coming up yeah. from being, I, mean, I was break dancing to attempting to DJ, and then I started rhyming and you know, rhyming ever since. That's cool. Hopefully, I got good at it. <laughs> so. Well, from what I seen earlier, you're almost there. <laughs> almost there. <laughs> <I'll> try. <laughs> there you go. Now, uh, how can people reach out to you on the internet? Any way people can oh, well, you know, find you or anything? Nah, you can't even find me on the internet. You're not going to find me on the internet. No. Uh, You're one of the few rappers that doesn't have a Twitter and all this other Oh, you know, I mean, I, I still do it. I just, uh, I'm just not out there like I used to be, you know. Yeah. Uh, if the right situation occurs, maybe I would, you know. But, yeah. You know, the way music is nowadays, man, it's just, you know, sometimes I just feel like I just don't want no parts of it at all. Yeah. Because, you know, not taking away from nobody what they do, but... It's just a lot of trash music out there yeah. from everything, from singing to rap to rock and roll, everything. It's, it's yeah. all garbage. I'm still bumping old school stuff like it just came out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if there's somebody that know me and you think I'm interested, you know, you can give us somebody to know me and yeah. they get a hold of me. I'm always available. That's cool. So you got any albums or anything coming out? Any music you're working on? I got or? an album coming out called The Balance of Ink. And um, it's just hardcore, hip-hop, no cursing, and it's straight to the point, and it's raw, and uh, see what happens. Well, that's cool. So, uh, how long have you been doing this? Man, about, about 23 years. Man. Wow. Yeah, getting, getting up there. You know, it's about time to hang it up. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the hardest lesson you've had to learn in the studio or on the stage or in the booth or anything like that? The hardest lesson is being yourself. Yeah. You know, you know people always want to shape you to be somebody else. And if you feel comfortable with looking at yourself in the mirror as somebody else, then by all means you do it. But I'm not going to inform myself of what I believe in just for some words on paper. I'm not going to sound like a clown. You know, I'm not going to be, you know, cooling and shining just to appease somebody. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do me, and it's not going to be ignorant. I'm going to try to do it as intelligent as possible and as clean as possible and as raw as possible. You know, I mean, I don't have to... Not and do what you do, but you know, me myself personally, there's other words besides curse words that I can use to get my point across. Yeah. And it's gonna be so hard, you're gonna be like, man, did he cuss in here? It'll be so hard, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you know, I express myself in different ways and I'm comfortable with that. I'm gonna be myself. And I'm not gonna be deterred from that. You know, I got kids of my own and I don't want them ever to pick up <laughs> something after I'm gone, man, and be like, man, Pops is all good, nasty, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so what 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 do you think about there's kind of a, a movement, not so much in the Midwest, but as far as uh, modern hip hop of people trying to get away from saying the N-word when they're when they're rapping and doing stuff. Is it is it a where do you come out on that? Uh, it's not a word I, I 
I use in my raps, I use the word, you yeah. know. Not so much as I used to, but um, I do use the word, and I do feel that it's a word that should only be used by black people. Yeah. Um, because everybody in their own racial makeup has got words that might be somewhat maybe derogatory that they use for each other. Yeah. You know? And that's fine. Keep it within your own race. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not on a race kick or anything like that. But yeah. somebody, if I came out and called you a something, something, yeah. you know, you don't take offense to that. But if one of your people in your own race called you that, it's, it's, it's funny. It's a joke. It's, yeah. it's, it's fine. It's commonplace. Yeah. You know, and this, that's just what it is. I don't. I'm not gonna disrespect anybody and demean them about their color or their, you know, ethnicity yeah. or anything like that or religion. So don't do me, don't do me like that either, you know, because I'm not gonna appreciate it at all. I mean, we can talk about it, you know. I mean, I'm grown. I'm not even to the fact that you can call me a nigga and I'll be like, really? You know, like, that's the best you got, you know. Yeah. You know, but as long as you don't put your hands on me, we all right. Oh yeah. You know. I mean, matter of fact, I would rather you just tell me. You know, I think you're a nigga. I'm like, <laughs> okay. You know, I'm like, well, I'm glad I know what we're saying. Yeah. Well, there's no problem with me. Oh, and I'm grown. I got children and a wife to take care of. I ain't worried about all that. Yeah. yeah. Unless you try to take it from me. Yeah. <laughs> but no. Be it, be be it, be it an old school cat. You mentioned earlier you came up old school and you're still in old school. What do you think of all these guys that are like two live crews playing in Salida here tonight? And we've got. You know, Biz Marquee has got a tour and he's just selling places out. What What do you think of all these old school cats coming back? Oh, man. I remember I was like 12 years old and listening to two live crew in the basement. Like, oh man, I want to hear this. It is. <laughs> it is a rap if I hear this. But you know, I think it's good, you know, because, you know, people. Especially these youngsters, they like born in 88 or 93 and they hear what the new sound is and they don't even understand what hip hop is. Hip hop is not just like, you know, I got my hair a certain way and I got my clothes a certain way. It's not that. It's, it's how you going to represent yourself. I mean, because you can... You can look at the people who got who are real MCs, like like you can take like a Red Man or a De La Soul or people like this. These people are still relevant. And then you can take other cats that come out, they'll come out with a hot single, and then two years later they're nowhere to be found. Because it was garbage. It wasn't it didn't have anything to stay found. It was a quick fix. You know, let's get some money real quick, make the books look good. Okay, he can't do that else for Let's get him out of here. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not nothing tangible. You know, it's, it's not even nothing you can appreciate. So, I mean, the people who kind of realize music is something to listen to. Oh, yeah. You know, and well, you might actually have something to say. I'll tell you, brother, it's an honor to speak with you. You, you, are, you are wise beyond your years, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> let's go watch more here on Jiggy Jag TV.